Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this uh, Friday the 13th. Wow, yeah, completely forgot about that. 2020, 3.48 p.m. here, West Coast time, and taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe and the seismic data that's coming in there. Shows a uh, earthquake striking the Southern California region there, showing up on Mammoth Lakes, and also down in the China Lake region of Southern California near Ridgecrest, California. Uh, also showing this earthquake up on the data pretty good. A 4.2 quake striking the area uh, just about 70 miles outside of the Long Valley Supervolcano region, Mammoth Lakes region, if you will. And uh, prior to this 4.2, they had a uh, uh, 3.2 in that region. Let's go ahead and drop this date down a little bit so we can get a little bit more detail on those quakes there. Well, it looks like they maybe dropped it down to a 3, but it was a 3.2 that showed up there. Uh, prior to that 4.2. Now these earthquakes striking, striking within roughly a, uh, just a few minutes of each other. Uh, the smaller one first and then now this 4.2 that just popped up there on the live data stations. Uh, pretty interesting activity because this is taking place in, the, in an area where, well, I haven't really seen too much activity out there in the past. Of course it's in between or somewhat in between the Long Valley Super Volcano and also the Ridgecrest, California uh, earthquake area down there. And you can see that red square there indicating the earthquake, uh, which struck at a depth of 1.5 mile, uh, 1.5 kilometers, I believe here. Let me see. Oh yeah, 1.5 kilometers, which is just under a mile uh, below the surface there. Uh, quality looks like it's fair in the record in the recording category um, there's the distance Big Pine roughly about 40 miles northeast uh, of that region West Bishop about 41 miles east northeast of that region as well um, interesting activity 4.2 out there in the desert region and taking a look at the fault system out there in California and uh, Nevada region does not show a lot out there. Let me bring this in just a tad bit. I have the US, malt, uh, US fault system on. I just got to, uh, hold on a second here, key this thing up, there we go. Bring this in a little bit closer here. I do have, uh, like I said, the fault systems on here and you can see uh, Fish Lake Valley fault. To me, it looks like the closest fault system here, which is not that far away uh, from the earthquake activity and um, zooming in I just can't I don't see any other fault systems out here there's some mountain ranges obviously so there has to be some some uh, fault structure and whatnot out there uh, just not on this uh, specific uh, map zone here so if we check out the just want to check this out here fish lake Valley Fault Zone, Valley Fault. Fault Zone. And we'll see exactly uh, what's going on. I've never heard of that fault system out there. That's kind of an interesting area. I'm just kind of checking here on my side, folks, seeing what, uh, seeing what the geoscienceworld.com website has to say about it. Uh, it's a sheer Eastern California shear zone. Uh, of course, the majority of Pacific North American plate boundary deformation east of the San Andreas Fault in the northern part of the Eastern California shear zone. That's this area right here. Uh, yeah, I don't see a lot of major quakes in that area. But it doesn't mean it can't happen there. Like I said, this 3.2 popped up, up, which is now downgraded to a 3.0 on that map there. They also had a couple smaller, much smaller quakes there in the micro quake range. A 1.3 and a 1.2 way earlier today. Um, so this is kind of stepping it up a little bit, right? 1.2, 1.3, 3.0 and a 4.0 right now just happening. Uh, see if any folks out there felt it in that region. Let's see here. Hold on a second. And like I say, it's not a big quake, folks. The only thing that concerns me about it is the 
Uh, looks like one person out there filling it. Um, <laughs> out there in the desert, kind of where I'd like to be right now. Nobody around. But, uh, yeah, it looks like one person felt it. But the thing is, what concerns me, folks, is just the... Um, the area that it's in it's just kind of a strange area it looks like the depth has been upgraded a little bit uh, 5.8 kilometers below the surface now so that's a little bit deeper than uh, than originally was was uh, mentioned there taking a look at the rest of Southern California there is still earthquake activity out there in Ridgecrest folks Quite a bit of earthquake activity continuing there. Uh, we are keeping an eye on this new activity. As, uh, of course, any activity down there in Southern California is, of course, uh, interesting along a plate boundary. Even though it's kind of inland more than the uh, plate boundary itself, but it just shows a lot of pressure, uh, no doubt, being built up in that region for sure today. Uh, globally looking here, folks, uh, definitely a lot of earthquake activity out here nothing major strike in the area we had a 5.1 off the coast down here in the costa rica region uh, south america showing a couple fives and some fours down there south of cuba uh, but most of this is older earthquake activity a lot of red pink color rings indicating old earthquake activity about ready to drop off the globe here of that 24 hour period so uh, new activity uptick southern california region there nevada region kind of like right on the border if you will uh showing this earthquake activity so we will continue to keep an eye on it and uh, provide any updates if they become available or need to be available uh right now hope everyone's having a save a day out there friday the 13th once again coronavirus is definitely not going to happen in my life here uh just uh trying to stay safe as much as i can i got toilet paper right <laughs> <laughs> toilet paper don't even get me started on that uh, it's ridiculous let me tell you anyway folks stay safe out there 4.0 out there in southern california region just outside of the long valley super volcano mammoth lakes region there and uh, we'll continue to watch this situation and uh, do some updates if they require it stay safe folks